Welcome back to Irvin Gaming, and today we have an Operation Unthinkable battle for you. The 101st Airborne are dropping into Gdansk in Poland to uh, push the Soviets further back. The Polish People's Army of the new Communist State of Poland is trying to keep them out. So, let's have a look at my Polish Soviet Army. So, we have ourselves Lieutenant and Apollo Truck who is the only bloke in a Russian hat, <laughs> uh, making sure that these blokes are following Soviet communism. We have the free, uh, the free inexperienced infantry squad with a flag and anti-tank grenades, veteran sniper team, veteran anti-tank rifle team. Then we have three guards squads. The back two guard squads have a mix of rifles and submachine guns and two light machine guns. And the front guard squad here has all submachine guns. All guard squads are regular and have one Panzerfaust and anti-tank grenades. Over here we have the SU-122, and perched atop it is a tank rider squad, which are veterans, six men all with submachine guns. And the SU-122 has a forward-facing howitzer. That's the Polish People's Army that will be defending the outskirts of Gdansk from the 101st Airborne. Let's go have a look at them. Okay, it's Brody here with Irwin Gaming. Um, running here the Dog Company 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne. And up first, we've got a lieutenant here, which, although it's it's uh, Captain Dick Winners from Band of Brothers, running as a second lieutenant. And I've got three nine-man squads, all equipped with six rifles, SMG, a BAR, and the Stinger LMG. Um, running a uh, standard sniper team, bazooka team, a 57mm anti-tank gun, medium mortar with a spotter, and probably one of my favourite pieces, the Oddball Sherman, which I'm just running as a standard M4A3 75mm Sherman, without the funny accoutrements I've seen in the film. Let's have a look. And here is the table we'll be playing on today. We haven't rolled for sides yet. Um, but yeah, nice river down the middle. Got some houses with fencing around them. Uh, a little bit of a command post over there. Church. Hotel. Yeah. Alright, we're going to roll up the mission we're playing. Roll up uh, which side we're on and then we'll get started. Okay, table is set up. We're playing mission one from the rule book, so it's just kill each other, whoever gets the most wins. Uh, we're pretty evenly set up. I have 10 order dice. You have nine? Nine. Nine. Uh, so forward deployers, we got the observer for mortar team. Yep. And inside we have the American sniper. And then over here, the Polish sniper is there. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to pull the bag. And uh, get into turn one. Would you like to pull to start? Pull to start. All right. Me. First dice to the Americans. Okay, so first move of the game. The American medium mortar has moved onto the table. Next dice. Next onto the table, the American uh, infantry squad. Yep, just moving up. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Polish, and the SU-122 has moved up onto the table, uh, the tank rider squad on top of it. Uh, it's going to fire a high explosive round at the Americans, and they are 30 inches away, medium howitzer, yeah that's definitely in half range, I'm pretty sure a medium howitzer is like 60 inch. Yeah, medium now, so 60 inches, so 30, just in half range. So looking for a three, moved, makes it a four. Uh, light cover from those sandbags covering most of the squad makes it a five to hit. We roll a three, so that's a miss. Next dice. <laughs> Next dice out the bag has gone to the Polish, and I've just run up the submachine gun squad. Uh, who I think this is the first game they don't have a truck to drive around in because I forgot to purchase one for them. So yeah, they've just uh, executed a run order. Next dice. You. It's me again. Soviets. 
nice and easy. We're just going to put that dice straight with our sniper team on an ambush order. Next dice. Too many Polish dice are coming out right now, so I think I'm just going to put a down order on the tank riders who are on the SU-122. Next dice. Americans. Next dice is the Americans, and they've just brought on another infantry squad. Run order? Run. Next dice. Up next, the Americans have brought on the 57 mil uh, M1 anti-tank gun, and it is looking right at the SU-122. Next dice. Uh, the American bazooka team has come onto the table and just executed a run order up to there. I forgot you had a bazooka team. <laughs> uh, and I'm very happy I've only got one armoured thing. Yeah. So I am concentrating on my anti tank. Next dice. Next dice onto the table is Oddball Sherman. Uh, luckily for me, he's got nothing to shoot at. <laughs> uh, next dice. Next dice went to the Soviets, brought on the anti-tank rifle, uh, was going to take a shot at the uh, the American mortar over there, but out of range by one inch. Yeah, next dice. Cool. Next out, uh, Americans, they've just run up into that little fence there. Uh, yeah, the Yanks have just the lieutenant, uh, lieutenant, Americans, uh, left to come on the table, whereas... The Polish have quite a lot still in reserves. Next dice. Next dice being Polish, uh, the inexperienced infantry squad, the free squad, has come on. Next dice. Uh, the next dice being Soviet, the poly truck has run up next to the inexperienced squad. Just give them a little bit of that morale boost. Next dice. There's a one, two, three, three to one chance of it being American. <laughs> It is not American, it is Polish again. Next Polish dice uh, is just going to the officer team who are just like, they're just gonna hide. So there they are, next dice. And the next dice has gone to the Polish who've just uh, run up this squad here, but with, uh, <laughs> with Oddball over there staring them down, uh, they've opted to spread out as much as possible. Next dice. Uh, yep, the Americans have done their, their second last dice, and the officer has just... There he is, inside the command post. Uh, yeah, just with a run order. Uh, next dice. I think we got one left each. Me and then you. All right. So this is American sniper, and then... Oh, actually, hold on. Sorry. Before you do your dice, yeah. I'm going to activate the ambush on my Soviet sniper and try to take out your officer. Okay. Otherwise, there's no point in me having a <laughs> an ambush dice at all. Uh, so 36 inch range, I should be able to. Hey, are you shooting at it in the bunker? Yeah, it doesn't matter though. I'm a sniper, so okay. still just hit on a three. I ignore cover. All right, so looking for that three to hit. Hits. Uh, your officer is inexperienced. Inexperienced. Oh, because replacement. Just... Yeah. Three to kill, and that's the first kill of the game. Well done. All right, and uh, now we have your dice going to your sniper. Doesn't matter because they're stubborn. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to fire. Yep. I'm just gonna put it on top there. It's not for yeah, the water. Yeah, that guy's inside. Yep. And uh, target in mind. I do. Minimum twelve inches, right? Yeah. All right, so the target is the anti-tank rifle that is under the tripod. Yep. There he is. Yep, uh, three to hit. Three to hit. Then we hit. Yep, and a five to kill. I think it's five. I think I took the anti-tank rifle as veteran. I did, yeah, five to kill. That's a three. So no kill, but a pin onto the anti-tank rifle. And the last dice is going to the Polish, and I need to figure out what I'm doing with it. Next dice, uh, well, last dice for the turn. It's going to this Soviet squad here. They're going to try and pop shots into your sniper. So, in terms of range, the rifles are out and the light machine guns are outside of half range. 
Um, so I've got two light machine guns. We're looking for threes moved, makes it fours. You're in a building, heavy cover makes it sixes. Small man team makes it sevens. it was off camera <laughs> sevens one chance nothing no hits that's the end of turn one and uh collect the dice and get into turn numero um i don't know how to say two in spanish i shouldn't have tried spanish dos dos there you go first dice of the turn has gone to the yanks uh you've moved up the oddball sherman uh, what's he gonna do Going to shoot AP at the side of the tank over there. Yep, the SU-122. And then I'm going to shoot my hull MG into the squad. Into these boys. All right. Uh, well, let's go the shot into the SU-122 first. Uh, from um, the breach? Uh, from any point of the tank, which is any kind of dumb. Uh, <laughs> it is. You got 60-inch range with 30-inch halfway. So it's one truly out of half. Out of half, but yep. in full. In full. Excellent. Uh, so three moved four. I don't get the. Got oh, the you don't get movement. You got no. veteran Sherman. Yep. Uh, so yeah, just outside half range four. Um, where's the the laser pointer? I'm just wondering if this little forest here blocks more than half of the tank. I don't know where I put the laser pointer. Oh, here it is. Um, so from where you are. Yeah, it does. You have to shoot the front half of the tank through that tiny little gap between the two forests. Okay. So I'll get light cover, so five to hit. Five to hit, okay. Look what I was wanting. No hit. Yes. And then the hull MG into the squad here. Uh, let's check if you're in half range there. Yeah, you the honest one get the dice? Yeah, sure. Uh, half range, full range is 36, so half is 18. And you're well and truly in half range. So threes, moved, fours. No other penalties, fours to hit. I'm going to stay up, we're not going to go down. Three hits. Pretty good shooting. Uh, they're regulars, so fours to kill. One okay. dice, and the squad will take a pin. Next dice. First Polish dice for the turn, and we're just going to put the sniper on ambush, and hopefully not forget about it the entire <laughs> turn this time. <laughs> uh, next dice. Okay, so the American mortar. Just check you're in that full 60, drop on a HE. HE. Yeah, you're definitely well and in. So HE onto the conscript squad there. Uh, veteran Mortar, yep. playing our house rule that uh, they hit on a five. 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 Excellent. Uh, so, two inch template. There you are. Thank you. That is uh, the second circle. Yep. Yeah, the flag's a little bit of a, <laughs> a frustration when it comes to trying to <laughs> get models under the template. I uh, can get five. You can get five? Yep, the front five. Excellent, cool. Uh, plus two penetration means anything but a one will kill. So... One, two, three, four, five. Anything bar a one to kill. That's, yeah, five kills. Five dead. Uh, Brent, it's not a squad break, thankfully. Because there is uh, <laughs> 12 in the squad total. But, uh, and it's uh, D... Uh, D2? D3. D3 pins. I actually have a D3 dice, if you'd like to roll a D3. Ooh, okay. This makes it easier. Three pins. All right. Goodness gracious, those conscripts are in for a bit of trouble. Next dice out of the bag is going to the Russians. Oh, well, actually, they're not Russians. I don't know why I said Russians. They're Polish. They're Soviets, but they're not Russian. Well, this guy is. They're Russian everywhere, though. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Let's just hope they're not rushing to Kiev. 
All right, the next dice is going to go to the uh, Soviets, the Polish here, uh, who have one pin. Uh, they're going to need an eight to move, uh, which they get. So that's pin gone, and uh, let's see what they can do. Okay, so the Panzer Faust is 12 inch range into the Sherman. We're in. Mm -hmm. So three moved four. <sighs> Come on. It's the only one in the squad. Oh, and before I fire it, I need to declare the rest of the squad, of course, uh, shooting at the sniper. Come on, a four. And it's a two. So the Panzer Faust has missed. Yes! <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Uh, everybody else into the sniper. We have one submachine gun in range, and all the other subbies are out, but the rifles are in, except only two of them are in half range. So, would it matter if I down ordered them? Uh, I think it, I feel like it's still going to be sevens anyway. Okay, I won't. I won't. Um, let me see. So, threes to hit, move to makes it fours. So, these are for the guys who are in half range. Mm. Three to hit, move makes it four. Heavy cover makes it six. Small man team makes yeah, it seven. Yeah, I went down. So I might as well just roll all the dice at once because it's all going to be sevens to hit. Oh, so here we are. Lots of dice. We've got two light machine guns, bunch of rifles, one submachine gun looking for sevens. I got two chances there. One hit. Mm. Five to kill? Yep. No deaths, but a pin on the sniper. Mm. Next dice. Okay, the next dice has gone to the Americans who are gonna take aim at the SU-122. Uh, yeah, with the anti-tank gun. So yeah, as long as you're in range, I think it's just gonna be a throw you hit. What was the range? Uh, 60 inch, because you're a medium. So 30 inch half range. 30 inch half range. That's half? Half. Just a three to hit then. Please, 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 please. Three. Hits. The tank riders jump off and are forced to go down. And they will move three inches away from the vehicle. Um, I'll just put them there for now. And yep. I'll sort out where they go after you've done all the shooting. So I can get that done. So AP? Yeah, AP five, front armor nine, four to glance. One. One. Uh, so no... Penetration, no glance, and I'm a regular, so I still take a pin from that. So just one pin on to the SU-122, and then I'll sort out where the tank riders are going. Okay, the next dice has gone to the Polish, and the SU is attempting to fire back. So we'll just be looking for that order test. Uh, it's regular, it's got one pin, so we're looking for an eight to pass. Uh, which we failed. So it goes down, has to reverse as far as it can, which is there. Uh, yeah, can't go any further back because there's blokes behind it. Next dice. Next dice to the Polish, and we're chucking a fire order on the anti-tank rifle, uh, targeting the Sherman, and we're just looking to pass that uh, veteran order test, uh, which we failed. No, have we? Yeah, that's a 10, so it's a fail. Because 10 minus 1. So down order onto the anti-tank rifle. Next dice. Alright, the next dice is going to the Americans who've advanced their bazooka. Uh, but before you do anything with it, I'm actually... <coughs> oh, I've got a water stuck in my throat. I'm going to uh, activate my ambush. You're further away than my 12, so I can use my scope. And I'm just going to be looking for that 3 to hit. Good old snipers, ignore cover. And he missed. He missed. Now All right, to... so what's the bazooka doing? <laughs> um, what do you think? Um, going down? Nah. Uh, frustrating. The SU? Yep. 100%. Okay. You're in range, at long range. Um, like cover from this forest blocking more than half the vehicle. So three, move four. Long range five, light cover six to hit. And that's a two. So the rocket has just gone off somewhere else. <laughs> Next dice out the bag. Soviets. Let's see what we can do. 
And the next dice have gone to the Polish, and the SMG squad has just executed a run order to over here. Keeping itself out of sight, out of mind. Next dice out of the bag is Americans. Next dice, American, and uh, yeah, we're just moving that squad. Uh, executed advance order into the bottom floor of the hotel. Once you're finished moving, we'll draw the next dice. Next dice is going to the Soviets, and this squad is going to open fire on the blokes on the bottom floor of the building. Uh, fire order, and I don't remember if rifles were in range or not. They weren't. Yes, so it's just the two, uh, just the two light machine guns. So eight shots, threes to hit, uh, heavy cover, makes it fives. Uh, that's just one hit. <laughs> hey, it's a pin. <laughs> uh, veteran squad, yep. fives to kill, but they're in a building. That gives them plus one, meaning sixes. No kills. A pin. But a pin on the blokes on the bottom floor. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks and the Sniper in the building, second floor. Uh, shooting out of that little, there it is. There's a hole on each side of this building. It's frustrating it doesn't have windows. But uh, yeah, going to take a shot at the anti-tank rifle again. So, three to hit. That's a hit. And five to kill. And that's a kill. Uh, and I assume, of course, you kill the guy with the anti-tank rifle. <laughs> yep. Meaning tank. Uh, sorry, tank. Team weapon. So, you've knocked out the team. So, that is a kill point to the Americans. It is now one all. And the next dice is going to the Soviets. Just realised the sniper needed an order test to pass. Is it just one pin? Just one. Yeah, alright. So if you don't pass this, I get my guy back. <laughs> but you passed. Yeah, sweet. Alright. Okay. Don't be. That's alright, we all make mistakes. Next dice. Okay, so next dice is going to the poles. And uh, we're going to rally that inexperienced squad that's got three pins. Uh, so they're rallying, they're looking for a seven, they've got the poly truck next to them, who is going to boost them up to an eight. Uh, no, no, he's a poly truck, not a commissar. A commissar would boost them. So if they're within six of the officer, they'll get the boost, but they're not. So they're rolling on a seven, but they have a flag, so if I fail, I re-roll. Uh, we fail, but we got the flag. Seven again, or... Yep, seven again, and we fail again. All right, they are going down. Next dice. Next dice out has gone to the Americans, and with the unfortunate of being outside of half range of that uh, that squad there, targeting the sniper has put uh, some of their shots from sixes to now the whole squad's just hitting on sevens. So a lot of shots coming, though. Uh, I see at least one chance, although the look of the thing stops me from seeing any other one, sixes. One cock. Yeah. <laughs> re-roll? Yeah, re-roll that. Uh, that's the frustration. The dice uh, the yep. dice tray is meant to get rid of those. So just one chance uh, for a seven. No hits. Unlucky. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks. Uh, they've moved up. This infantry squad that yep. was in the hard cover, and you're shooting at that team behind the forest. Cool, the tank riders. All right. So twenty-four inch range in the rifles. Yep. Only just one, two, three, three rifles. Um, Let me just have a look at that from the top. Yeah, that's in. So four rifles. Four rifles. BAR is 30 at full. So an extra six inches there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which should make... Four yeah. rifles. So that's four, two, and then the stinger. Yeah, 36 full range, which you're definitely in. 18 inch half, just to check. No. No. Okay, so everything's shooting at long range. Okay, so hitting on threes, uh, long range fours, light cover five, down six... Yep. Yep. I'm down for cool though. And then it'll be sevens for the stinger because it's Moving. got the movement penalty. So for the stinger, nothing. Nothing for the stinger. And then everyone else looking for sixes. Four rifles in the BAR. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. Hitting on sixes? Yep. 
Uh, one hit. And these are veterans, so you're looking for a five to kill. Five to kill, got it. A chance for an exceptional. No exceptional, so one dies and a pin on the squad. And then the last two dice are Polish. All right, and the next, well, the last two dice, one's gone to the officer team who they're just staying down. I don't want to lose an order dice. And the polo truck here, he's going to lose two inch of movement jumping across that fence. But because of the killing that you did, the uh, there's a gap between the uh, the inexperienced squad. So he's going to run through that. Uh, just a run order. Gets him out of line of sight so he can't be killed. That's the end of turn two. And uh, we'll pick up dice and get into turn three. Turn three. And the first dice is going to the Soviets. Um, <laughs> let's... Uh, I think the sniper, actually, if I just move the camera over here, I feel like the sniper has a line of sight on the anti-tank gun. But then I could also take a shot at the bazooka, which I feel like is a bigger threat to me, to be honest. Yeah, so I think I'm going to fire at the bazooka. He's in the same spot he was last turn. I was in range, so just a three. It's a hit. That's a hit. And bazooka's a veteran? Yep. So five to kill. Let's get that kill. Take the bazooka out. Dead. Team yeah. weapon. <clears throat> Victory point to the poles. Well done. And then we'll pull the next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks. And uh, we've got... There he is. Oddball. He's moved up into point blank with the squad that tried to Panzerfaust him last time. Uh, and I believe he's going to try and shoot the SU again. Yep. So right. main gun into the SU. Then yep. LMG into the... Point blank into the squad. So yep. from there. Half range 30. No, oh, well out of half. Half, okay. So uh, you got the stabilizer. So stabilizer. no cover this time. So it'll just be a four to hit for being outside of half. So it's missed the SU again. <laughs> uh, and the Hull MG will be uh, threes to hit. Two for point blank, minus one for movement. Yep, and four shots? Five shots. Five, sweet. Yeah. Medium machine gun five, light machine gun four. Uh, one miss, four hits. Uh, looking for fours to kill. Uh, two dead with a chance for an exceptional. No exceptional, so just two dead and a pin. Alright, next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks and the uh, 57 mils firing at the SU again. It's reversed slightly, but you're still in half range. Still in half range. So it'll just be a three to hit the Sioux. Three, come on. Six. Six, that's a hit. Uh, front armor nine, penetration four, uh, five, so you're yeah. looking for a four to glance. Two. And that's a two, so be another pin onto the Sioux. <sighs> well, one pin stopped it from doing anything last turn, no, so it's... two pins now. Pretty bad for it. Uh, next dice. And that next dice has gone to the Soviets. Um, yeah, and you know what? I'm in surprise assault range over here, so no defensive fire. I mean, there wouldn't be anyway, because you've already made an order dice. We've got anti-tank grenades, so uh, let's crack on in. All right, so we first got to take our order test to get into this combat. Uh, we're regular. We've got uh, nine. We've got one pin, I believe. I think so. Yeah, just one. So an eight to pass, which we've rolled. So we're in. We'll uh, move the troops. All right, the tank has moved, so we are requiring sixes to hit. So there's the assault. Uh, I'll zoom out a bit, actually, so we can see the dice as they get rolled. There's the dice tray. Looking for those sixes. Uh, that's only one hit, which means I will be mathematically incapable of penetrating you. Because even if I roll a 6 there, which I did, that gives me a penetration value of 8 against armor 9. So I can't do anything. Uh, unlucky. And I regroup 3 inches. Alright, I'll do that regrouping and then we'll pull out the next dice. I didn't do anything to it. And the next dice has gone to the American Mortar, which, well, he really doesn't like these conscripts here. So we're looking for that, uh, looking for that 2 to... Uh, 
range in. He's rolled a two, so he's hit. Uh, you get your two-inch template once more. Oh, you got a template. Excellent. Just squeezing four. Just squeezing in four. All right. So no, look at the bases. Yeah, off the yeah. bases. That's like literally on them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you got four, four hits. Uh, you are looking for anything bar a one to uh, kill them. Please don't kill them. I like these boys. I don't They're nice to me. So anything bar a one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> again, the dice tray is meant to stop cocks, but we've had uh, yeah, three two dead. so far. So three dead, um, and it'll be D3 pins, and there's the D3. And three, three again, so six pins for the uh, the conscripts now in total. And it's what break? Uh, no, because they've oh, got... Oh, no, they yeah. Be, yeah. Yep, so it's not a squad break just yet. You needed to kill one more to make it a squad break. All right, next dice. <clears throat> next dice has gone to the Yanks, and uh, here they are moving the squad that's in the building out so they can get more shots on these poor blokes who just charged the Sherman. I was really hoping you'd stay inside and only get one or maybe two or three shots, but... Uh, yeah. uh, and it's from the door. Moving out from the door, yep. All right, so they're out of the building. <laughs> Everything's in point blank range, so light machine gun's looking for threes with its movement penalty. And it's got two hits. Two hits. And then, my goodness, how many more shots do you... Five rifles. Five rifles, minus one for loader. Well, that's already minus oh, one. Oh, already including the minus one, yeah. So five rifles, one SMG, two one SMG. One SMG. Yep. And the bar. One bar, so that's five, five. six, seven, eight, nine shots with twos to hit. Oh, goodness gracious. Reminder, Poland is not yet lost. Oh, nine shots looking for looking for twos to hit. Uh, I think there's one miss there. No, no. Uh, all, all hit. It's not it's the glare on the uh, on the dice made that one look like a miss, but that's all hits. All hits. So those plus your two hits from before. Yep. Um, four to kill. Fours to kill. They are vet uh, regulars. So fours... Oh, goodness gracious. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dead. And they will be taking a squad break there. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do the squad break first, just in case they go. So, squad break, regulars, they're going to take one pin from that shooting. Uh, so, they're looking for an eight to stay on the table. Which they failed, but Soviet Union rule gives me a retest if it means squad destroyed, which it's not. So they're going to stick on the table. I'm going to pick which six die, and then we're going to get back into the rest of the turn. Yep, so there we go. That's who I've chosen to live. It's just the sergeant with his submachine gun. Next dice. It's uh, Soviets. Let's see what we can do. All right, the dice. Soviet. It's going to go to the Sioux, uh, which you'll need to take an order test with two pins. Uh, it's regular, so nine minus two, seven to pass. Failed. So it goes down. It can't reverse any further, um, and I think next turn it's just going to rally. Next dice. All right. Uh, yep. Next dice with the Soviets, and they're just going to jump. Uh, this guard squad with the two light machine guns into this building here. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks. Paratroopers have come out and targeting the same squad. Yep. All right. Uh, let's do our range measurements and whatnot. I might move the camera over here. Four inches. So rifles are well and truly out. Yep. Uh, Fifteen inch bar for the half range. That is. Out. Out. And the Ligma, the light machine gun, 18 inch, also yeah, out. Just out. So everything's shooting long. Is anything out of long range? Are any of the rifles outside 24? Nope. Nope. Excellent. Cool. The furthest here, and they're all, they're all seeing it. Yeah. They're all firing. Uh, so, moved. Oh, I, I might not, actually, I'll move that out of the way, because I might not be getting my light cover 
Oh, actually, I think I will be, yeah, because you get that gap. So I'll still be getting light cover, thankfully. Which, which gap? Here, between the heavy cover fence. Oh, okay. And the forest. So these back three guys. Okay. Uh, and seeing as it's the majority of the squad, so I'm getting light cover still. Uh, would be nice if the fence was blocking more, because the fence is heavy cover. Uh, so threes, long range fours, light cover fives. And in fact, they're going to go down. Let's make it oh, six and seven. Of course. So seven to everything, if you wouldn't mind passing me there. Yep. Dice out of the bag. No, at least it means you're not moving. Yeah. Like suppressing fire somewhat. Yep. So sevens to hit on everything. So seven. I'll just do the rival separate. Yep. Are you building? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two chances. Two chance. I'll roll those. No hits. No hits. So that was the rifles. rifles. Uh, Four shots on the Ligma. Ligma. Nothing. No chances. And the BAR. Two shots. One, One chance. chance. One hit. One hit. Five to kill. We've got veterans here. No. No deaths. But another pin. All right, next dice. All right, the next dice has gone to the conscripts, and uh, once again, we're going to attempt a rally. So we are looking for a eight to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a pass. So we've passed, and we roll d6, but because we've got a flag, we can roll two d6 and pick the highest. Is it pick the highest value? I don't you know. I feel like it's pick the highest value. Uh, to determine how many... And yeah, pick the highest value. Six. So I'm going to lose six plus one. They only have six pins, so that's all pins gone. Next dice. All right, the paratrooper squad has moved up to the fence here. There they are. And uh, they've decided that they're going to try and take out old mate, who's the last bloke left from the failed tank assault earlier. Uh, yeah, so let's measure our ranges and whatnot. Two four inches for the rifles. Any Gewehrha in range? One, two, three, four. Four? Four rifles in range. Is that out of the five that shoot? Yeah. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, threes to hit, small man team. Fours, long range, fives. Fives. So, uh, looking for fives on those rifles. Four rifles, wasn't it? Four rifles, yeah. looking for fives. Nothing. No hits. Okay, so the BAR is fives to hit, and the Ligma will be sixes. 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 So one, one hit from the BAR. Hit. And sixes. One, one hit. hit from the light machine gun. So that's two hits total. Looking for a four to kill. You could wipe the squad here. I mean, there's only one guy left. To, to yeah, kill. roll for exceptional. <laughs> I wonder who I'm going to choose. Oh, you get the exceptional. Would you, would, like, uh, um, would you like to kill... Who Who in the squad? So we got the sergeant, we got the pin marker, and we got the order dice. I'll go for the order dice. We'll go for the order dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next dice. Next dice. Last American dice. Going to the American sniper. Who's he going to target? Uh, the sniper in the graveyard. He's targeting the Polish sniper. All right. Uh, oh, just check you're in range, 36 oh, yeah. inch. Of yep, before we roll the three to hit. I mean, I doubt you're out, but could be. Just in case. Ah, oh, well in. Well and truly in. Yep, so it's just a uh, three to hit. He's hit, five to kill. No death. Oh. Pin on the sniper. Oh. Last three dice are going to the poles. Uh, so the... Le Lieutenant, who's here, he'll take a down order. The uh, polar truck over there will also take a down order, and then we're going to see what our last squad, the light, uh, the submachine gun squad, is going to do. Okay, so the submachine gun squad has moved from behind the forest to now in front of it, using its full six inch of movement. How many subbies can we get in 12? Can we get any in point blank? No, but every submachine gun is in 12. So we've got 20 shots coming in. No. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, and 20. I have every single one of my custom Polish dice made by a uh, Dice of War, Great Australian Company. Every single one of the custom Polish dice in my hands. We're looking for fours. And uh, I'm just going to bring the camera up above. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hits there. Alright, so 11 hits. So, as we all know, 11 hits means one pin. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're now looking with 11 dice coming in for fives to kill. And it uh, looks like we got one, two. Two one, dead. Two. two dead. Thanks, lads. Great shooting. <laughs> I like. I feel like a submachine gun squad like that should give out more than one pin. But, uh, <laughs> hey, two dead, one pin. I'm not going to complain too much. Just a little bit. Next dice. Sorry, next dice. It's the end of the turn. There are no more next dice. Dice back in the bag. Turn four. First dice out of the bag has gone to the Americans. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get our submachine guns even closer. So let's see what we can do. All right, so we've moved up. We've measured the ranges. We've got point blank for almost everyone. Uh, the Americans have elected to go down. So 14... Uh, 14 dice are going to be looking <laughs> for fours and six dice will be looking for fives. So 14 dice looking for fours. Uh, we got one, two, three, and four. A lot less uh, a lot less devastating than last turn, unfortunately. And then we have six dice looking for fives. Two hits. So six hits total, looking for fives to kill. They'll take another pin. I'll put the pin on now. Uh, two, dead. two dead with a chance for an exceptional. No exceptional. So two, two dead again with One. another pin. Two. Excellent. Next dice. Okay, the next uh, the next dice is the Soviets. We're looking at our sniper team. We've got, uh, I believe, uh, one pin, one pin. Uh, veterans, so we'll be looking for a nine to shoot, which we get. And uh, we know that we're in range of your sniper because he shot us. So <laughs> <laughs> we very clearly, I should be using the dice tray, should uh, be able to get him. So three to hit. And a miss. And a miss. Oh, watch, watch your sniper. Now kill mine. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I hate more than a good old sniper battle. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Yanks. Oddballs moved up to the riverbank and taking a shot at... The SU-122. Yep. With the main gun and then the tank riders with the hull. With the hull. Game. And the tank riders have elected to go down. To... Check half range was... 30? Uh, yeah, half range is 30 on the main gun. And that puts you in. Puts me in so with your gyro stabilizer, no cover. Just a three to hit the assault gun there. Watch me miss. <laughs> Again, I'll get the MG ones out. Yep. So just a three. Oh, come on! What if you rolled? I can't see it on the camera. Two. Oh, unlucky. The assault gun lives to fail another order test. <laughs> and now the MG. Yep. Uh, the range on it. Yep. Half range 18. No, so half. it's out of half. In full threes moved, fours, half, fives. Down six, sevens. Seven. Let's get that out of there. So One any cock. chances? One, one chance. No, so one chance. Yep. Hit. One hit, five to kill. One. No dead, but another pin onto the tank riders. Next dice. Next dice has gone to the Soviets, and uh, the question of the day is, will the SU actually do something this game? Half and dry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, regular tank, um, two pins, nine minus two, seven to do something. Finally, we're doing something. Let's uh, get the SU on the move and see what happens. All right, the SU has reversed up the row. Oh, sorry, 
reversed, advanced up the road. Uh, and with its degree of fire, which I'm just going to hold that. There it is. And so we'll just check if we can target the building, targeting the second floor, which we can indeed. So uh, three moved four and one pin means it is a five to target the second floor of the building. Are you shooting the sniper? I'm shooting the building. If I was shooting the sniper, I'd be oh. hitting on sevens. <laughs> so shooting the building, hitting on a five, nothing. Nothing. The yep, the SU twenty two one twenty two finally gets to move and it doesn't do anything. Next dice. All right, the uh, the conscripts are going to move. So back guys moving six inches to there means I can move up to six, but I've got to maintain that coherency. So that's our movement. You've lost your range din marker. Pop There's your dice back, and they're going to pop their rifle shots into the same squad that was targeted by my submachine gunners. They're in range, at long range, and they're in range of the poly truck, so they lose their minus one to hit for being inexperienced. So three rifle shots, looking for threes moved, makes it fours. And they're down. And they're down five sixes. So three shots, looking for a six. Just roll here. We got hey. one hit. Hey. We got one hit. On. Five to kill, yep. and our conscripts get the kill. Five to kill! Not conscripts one. get a kill. Well done, lads. After spending the first two turns of the game, or three turns of the game, being down, they've done something. Next dice. Next American dice has gone to the mortar team over there, who will be dropping again on the inexperienced, but you're going to range in again. Our house rule, veteran mortars range in on fives. Five. Five. It's a range in. I think all four are close to each other enough that your two inch template will get them all. Yep. Very easily. Frustrating. Anything bar a one, four dice coming in. Three, uh, one, three, and two fours. So one, three, three and two fours. Three dead. Uh, they'll have to take a morale test. Oh, D3 pins. Uh, where's my D3 dice yeah. gone? There it is. Two. Two. Two pins. So they are down to morale six to pass. Uh, <laughs> what's the flag do for me again? I always forget. No, it's only for rally. Yeah, the flag is for rally. So, uh, yep. Whew, six or less to stay on the field. It's a pass. Oh, come on. Next dice. Okay, the American sniper is taking the next dice. Uh, what's he? What's he decided to shoot? I'm deciding to shoot the remaining flag bearer that my mortar team oh, failed to. The flag bearer. All right. Is it 36 inch range. Yep. You're in yeah. range. All right. Three to hit. Five. That's it. And a three to kill. Three. And that's uh, goodbye flag bearer. Uh, the Polish flag may have hit the ground, but remember, Poland is not yet lost. Next dice. All right, next dice has gone to the Poles, and uh, the lads in the building, they've seen the flag fall, and they're going to try and get some revenge. Uh, can I have a tape measure, please? Definitely. Thank you very much. I think only the light machine guns will actually be in range of the sniper. But I'll check the rifles. No, they're just short, the rifles. So, uh, yeah, two light machine guns firing out of the two windows that can most easily see the building, whatever. Um, <clears throat> threes to hit. Uh, we're outside half, so that makes it fours. Small man team makes it fives. Light cover. Uh, sorry, light cover. Heavy cover. It's a building. Sevens. I see one Polish Eagle. We got one chance. And it's a five. Ah, unlucky. Uh, next dice. All right, the next dice has gone to the Yanks. They've moved up uh, this infantry squad over these boys here. There they are. And what are they going to do? 
Uh, they're going to fire into the submachine gun team over here. Okay, so firing into the subbies down here at the riverside. Check the rifle range. Yep. Yep, all in. All Which in. Means everything's in. I don't think anything's going to be in half range. Check the... Ooh. The BAR? No, the, the, the... Uh, Stinger. Okay, so the light machine gun's in half range. I'll roll that first. Yep, so threes move fours. Um, move and shoot fives. Is half... It's half the squad in cover. It is not. No. Actually, like looking over the bridge. Yep. So threes moved fours. And this one's in half range. So in it's half. just fours. This could be a deadly round of firing. Four no. shots. Four. Looking for fours. One hit. One hit. Uh, and you rifles. got... Rifles and a BAR at long range. Sub, the sub's definitely out. Yeah. So... Is the BAR at long range as well, or is he in 15? In. Uh, he's, is he? In, from the front. Oh, yeah, he is too. Can I roll that? Yep. Okay, uh... Fours? Uh... Threes. Threes, yeah, move, no penalty. Nothing. No hits. And then five rifles. Five rifles. Looking for fours. Come on. <laughs> Fours? Yep. One hit. One. Oh, that was lousy. So that's two hits total? Yep. Fours to kill. No. And no deads, but that is a pin on the Polish submachine gun squad. That was crummy. Next dice. All right, with an absolute meme of a, of a uh, firing order... The anti-tank rifle, oh sorry, anti-tank rifle, anti-tank gun is shooting along this narrow strip to the sniper team. So, <laughs> are you in your half range of 30 inches? 30. <laughs> uh, very much so. Very much so. <laughs> so, three to hit, small man team makes it four, hard cover makes it five, uh, hold on. Three to hit, small team makes it four, hard cover makes it six. Six so hit. six to hit. Are you firing high explosive or armor piercing? Armor piercing. Armor piercing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to shoot at. Yep. He's hit. Yes. <laughs> and uh, anything bar or one. That's a kill, but it's not a. Uh, <laughs> it's not an exceptional. So the spotter will die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's funny. The spotter who is a model that's modelled on my girlfriend, so thank you for killing her. Uh, <laughs> not thank you at all, actually. <laughs> um, yes, order test to stay around. One pin, um, one guy, so I got minus one for being last man standing. Uh, veteran, ten, minus two, becomes eight. Uh, it's a fail, but with the Soviet special rule, going again because otherwise the squad would be destroyed. And it's a fail again, so that's the sniper team gone. So that is a kill. Uh, <laughs> next dice. Well, my anger and frustration at that uh, can barely be contained, so the, the polo truck is uh, running up to join the front. Uh, next dice, it's a 50-50. We both got one each. What have you got left? I know I've got my officer. I've got one squad over here. Squad. But it's my officer first, who's going to do the same thing he's done the entire game and... Uh, Go down. <laughs> He's just an extra dice in there, and I don't want to lose him, you know, because we're playing kill points. So it's uh, your squad over here. Do you know what you're going to do with them yet? Uh, I do. Uh, I'm going to advance them. Yep. Up onto the bridge. If uh -huh. it reaches. Yeah, if they get there. So they've moved up. What are they going to do? Going to see if we have a, a cheeky pot shot at the squad in the house, yep. although I don't like my chances with range. Uh, rifles all out. Rifles are out. So the light machine gun's probably in. Is the BAR at 30? 30. I think the BAR is. Yeah. So yeah. the bar's in. Bar's in, but out of half range. And so the 10 poles walked into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, 36 inch for the Ligma. Yep. That's one for the in. Yep. Outside of half. Uh, so the light machine gun. Four shots, looking for threes, moved, makes it fours, long range, makes it fives, heavy cover, makes it sevens. 
Sevens, okay. And I think the BAR is going to be sixes. So sevens for the light machine gun and, and four sixes shots. for the BARs. Yep. Got one chance for sevens. Yep. Nope. And two shots for the BAR looking for sixes. Two shots for the BAR. Here we go. One. One six. One six. Oh, well done. And uh, fours, no, five, fours to kill normally, but they're in a house, so they get added protection, so fives to kill. No. No kills. But a hit. But a pin. And that's the last dice, so we'll move on to turn five. Into turn five, first dice is... Soviet. Soviets, all right. Well, I'm going to try and get the SU-122 to do something. So uh, it's got one pin now. Looking for a eight to pass that order test. Oh, a three, five or less, come on. Yeah, oh. sweet. No pins anymore. Uh, we'll figure out what the SU-122 is going to do. All right, so after much deliberation, a fire order onto the Sioux, and it's going to attempt to obliterate the squad behind the Sherman. Uh, could I have the tape measure? Just need to check if I'm in my half range, and I'll grab the template to make sure you're in my fire arc. So 30-inch half range. Oops, I knocked the camera. Yeah, you're in my fire arc, and you're in 30, so it's just a 3. So down. Down, down. Uh, 3, 4, 5 to hit. Well, going down saved you from being hit. Next dice. Well, there's always another time to obliterate a unit. So we're going to uh, get the poly truck on the move. He's going to come up here with his assistant, and they're going to blast some shots into the yanks over there uh looking for i think fours uh i think that could be it could be point blank it's hard to tell like it's right on the six inch mark let's have a look so oh knocking the camera in there from base to base, mm. I think it's right on the six inch mark there. I'll do the guy at the back anyway, because he'll okay. be looking for fours. So the other, the assistant to the poly truck, will look for fours. One hit. One hit. Whoa, <laughs> knocking the camera. <laughs> Roll them right in front of it. And then poly truck looking for twos. Two hits in total. Two hits. Five to kill. Uh, that two could be cocked. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. Still a two anyway. So one dead. One dead. Extra pin. Next dice. All right, so the Yanks are taking the next dice onto this airborne squad here in the middle of the screen. What are they going to do? They're going to advance up onto the road. Yep. And start firing. Hey, okay, targeting the polar truck. Targeting the polar truck. Yep. Uh, so, Subby... Where's my subby? Uh, there. Yep. In. Is That's... he in half six? No. No. Okay. Five rifles, all in half range. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And you got like machine gun, which is. I would do that separately because that takes yep. the. Yeah, so that's four shots there. Four shots. And then BAR, two shots. BAR, two. So the BAR and the rifles will be looking for threes, fours for small man team. And I'll grab the uh, little dice tray. So threes, no movement penalty because you're American, you're in half range, and so just a four for small man team. That five That's is <laughs> The whole point of a dice tray, your dice get cocked in there, it's interesting. So one, four two, hits. Three. Four. And then the light machine gun and the submachine gun will be looking for fives. Threes to hit. Uh, the light machine gun takes a movement penalty. Yep. The submachine gun's outside of half, so it makes it fours and fives for small man team. One. One hit. Two hits. Two hits. I, uh, I hate I hate the uh, the green airborne dice you have because the uh, the eagle on it is shiny and it looks like a one. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Whereas the black airborne dice you have, because the eagle's engraved instead of just a sticker. Yeah. Like, it's uh, it's much nicer. Um, four or five. Uh, ooh, I don't remember if I made the polar truck veteran. Let me check my armor list very quickly. Uh, no, he's a regular. 
Yeah. So fours. Yeah. You're kidding me. No deaths. <laughs> and uh, one mm. single pin onto the puddle of truck. After taking all that massive amount of fire. Unlucky. Next dice out the bag. All right, the American anti-tank gun up the back there has decided to actually use anti-tank rounds on... A tank. Wow, a tank destroyer, but same sort of thing. Actually, no, it's an assault gun. It's not a tank destroyer. 36-inch uh, range? Uh, no, that's a, that's a medium, isn't it? Yep. So 60 range, 60, 60. 30 half range. 30 half. So yeah, outside of half. Outside of half, yep. But definitely within full range. Yep. So it'll be a four... I doubt that I've got myself light cover. It's no, possible. I can see, like... Yeah, no, you've... I can see more yeah, than half. you've got more than half. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a four to hit. Six. That's a hit. Uh, five penetration, minus one penetration for long range. Four against side armor eight. Four. Means a four to glance. Nothing. But I will take a pin on the SU. Again, let's just hope the pins don't <laughs> get us stuck doing nothing all game. Next dice. All right, the American Mortar has lost its favourite target, so it's found a new one. And it uh, eliminated its favourite target. Well, no, it didn't. No, Something right. else killed its favourite target. I can't remember what. Sniper, Sniper. I think. So it's going to target these boys. Veteran Mortar's house rule, five to range in. Can he range in on one shot again? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, two inch template, you're almost certainly hitting five with how bunched up they are. I think those five closest to the. Yep, five. Yeah. So anything bar one. This ruins my plan of saving them for later in the turn. One, two, three, four. Four dead. Four Thankfully, dead. it's enough to miss a. Uh, Morale test and D three pins. Three. That's 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 bad. That's real bad. All right. Next dice. Yanks have got the next dice, and uh, Oddball is doing the same thing he did last turn. Main gun into the into the SU. Uh, submachine. Uh, submachine gun. Medium machine gun into the tank riders. So uh, three to hit the SU. With the main gun? Yep. That's what the one. hell? <laughs> the unkillable but unable to do anything Russian tank <laughs> with a Polish crew. And uh, threes, are you inside your half range of uh, 18? I think you were out of half, but I don't remember for certain. From the hole? Yeah, out. Outside of half. I'm going to go down if you wouldn't mind grabbing a down yeah, order. Sure. But I haven't moved this time. Yeah, so threes, down fives, and outside of half, six. Six. From five shots. Five shots looking for sixes. Nothing. No hits? No. No hits. Next dice. Oddballers are uh, clearly loaded up some paint ammo. <laughs> I think he's been hitting that. Yeah. Had too many positive waves. Too many positive waves. <laughs> Next dice is going to the Yanks, and they're going to try and get these boys with a fire order. So, uh, four pins. Four pins. Veterans. So, six to do something. And that's a ten, yeah, so they just go down. Yeah. Next dice. Next dice, Soviet. Uh, we're chucking fire order on the boys in this house, and uh, they're going to fire at the infantry squad out there. Let's uh, do our ranging and see what works. Okay, so two light machine guns, threes to hit, long range makes it fours, downs makes it sixes. Eight shots, looking for a six. We'll get one. And we're looking for a five to kill. Chance for an exceptional. No exceptional. One dies and the other squad will take a pin. Got it. Next dice. All right, next dice, Soviets. These guys, <laughs> four pins, uh, they are regular. So, um, yeah, we're looking for five to do something. Unless we rally, but we're already zoomed in. So, five, we can pass. 
We do indeed. Woohoo! We lose the pin. We're down to three. And we're going to move. All right, they've moved up over here and they've learnt their mistake and spread out. Um, everyone's in full range. Got two, three, no, two guys in point blank. So I'll do those two guys first. Uh, four dice, um, goodness gracious. Threes to hit, point blank makes it twos, no movement penalty, but I got three pins, makes it fives. So four dice, we are looking for a five on them. No hits. And then we have two, four, six, eight dice looking for sixes. And there's a hit there. One hit. Five to kill. No deaths, but it will be a pin on those lights. Uh, yeah. So. No kills, pin on those lads, and then draw the next dice. Yeah. American. American. What have you got left? Snipe out. Snipe out. What's he going to do? All right, so we've got the sniper still in the building there. He's going to take a shot from that window. Yep. Over to the... Uh, yep, just check his 36-inch. I'd be surprised if he's out, but... If he is, I ain't complaining. Nah. No, well and truly in. Well and truly in range. So it's a single dice. Looking for a three to hit. That's yes. a hit. Four to kill. Mm. And no death. But it will be another pin. Bringing those boys back up to four. Uh, and then the last dice in the bag is my officer who's uh, going to do the same thing he's done every turn to no one's surprise and go down. So that's the end of turn five, going into turn six. First dice for turn six, the 57 mil, targeting the SU. Uh, so that's, yeah, fire on. Three, I think it was a four to hit last turn. Was. Yeah, so it'll just be a four again. Missed. Miss, unlucky. Next dice. So, uh, Soviet dice, first one of the turns, going to the SU. It's got one pin. Veteran, need, oh, sorry, not veteran, regular, needs an eight. And it's failed. And uh, it'll reverse and, yep, next dice. And that's where the down order has placed the SU. Next dice. Oddball's had a bit of his, uh, a <laughs> bit more positive rain. Ra positive, oh my goodness, positive waves. waves. That's what I'm trying to say, if I can uh, <laughs> speak properly for half a second. Uh, what's he targeting this round? He's pumping HE into the house with the squad on it. Yep. So this and then the up. MMG into the dismounted tank riders over there. Brilliant. Check the range. Yep. Uh, 30 inch half range, was it? 30 inch half range. For the house? Yep. Yep. Well and truly in. And then and 18. we already knew he was outside of half yep. for those boys. Um, HE. Right. HE first. HE first. Uh, it's just a three to hit the house. Five. Hits. All right. All right, so it'll be D6. Uh, oh, leave that out of the way. D6 hits on the inside of the guys. One. One. <laughs> uh, plus two penetration. There. Yes, anything bar a one to kill. The one dies? Yeah. Well, roll to kill. One. One. So no deaths. <laughs> Uh, and it'll be D3 pins. So, no deaths for these boys. D3 pins. I don't remember where my D3 is. There it is. So D3 pins. Three pins. Alright, and then next dice. Oh, wait, hold on. You still got to find the... Yeah, medium machine gun. I almost forgot. Might as well. They're on so many pins, they're not going to do anything this game, so they'll just go down. They're on eight of the sixes? Yep. Sixes to hit. Nothing. No hits. Next dice. Next dice is going to the poly truck, who has, I believe, just one. Yeah, just one pin. Uh, regular, nine, minus one. He's passed. Loses his pin. Uh... Can I borrow the tape measure? I just want to get within point blank because I know I'm out. 
currently, but if I move just across over here like three inches, that'll get both my subbies in point blank. Uh, take it they're going to go down. Oh yeah. Fours to hit. Pretty good shooting. Three hits. Fives to kill. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Well, with the Polish pretty fairly routed at this point, and, uh, well, <laughs> with so many pins being almost impossible to have any chance in another turn, and uh, any time they try to get rid of pins rolling poorly on their order tests, uh, it was decided to call the game there. Um, we were running out of time in real life as well, because uh, my mate that I was playing against had things he needed to do. So, handshake, and then a little bit of a look uh, at the table, how the game finished up. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to hope to get some more Operation Unthinkable. This might become a three-part campaign like uh, Piper's Drive to the West. Um, not quite sure on that yet, but we'll see if we can, uh, yeah, get a 1946 Soviets versus Western Allies going. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, hope you like and subscribe.